Hey guys, so this is my first ever poker vlog and I'll be going over a PLO session that I had on Monday and uh, it's basically got everything you could ever ask for in a poker vlog. I have quads, I ran into a royal flush, uh, I got felted and I sun ran um, the whole time to end up having the biggest cash out in the history of the poker room after I got felted. Um, so... I played with an EPT champion, uh, Kevin McPhee, who has over $6 million in uh, tournament winnings. Um, yeah, I, uh, it's just basically the best session ever. Unfortunately, my footage isn't the greatest. But anyways, uh, my name is Bryce, a.k.a. Toucan Poker. So let's get right on into it. Yeah, I'm not giving any faces. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Straight blush, that'd be. Yeah, I mean. Heading to the Black Pearl Casino right now over here in Spokane Valley, Washington. Uh, gonna play some 3 5 PLO, but it's not really PLO because in Washington State uh, there's a spread limit. Uh, and so the max bet will be $300, so it plays a little different. Uh, we're gonna buy in for $500 and see how the night goes. Uh, this is only my fourth time playing PLO ever, and I figured I'd want to uh, record it because I am so new to the game. So hopefully uh, we have some good hands tonight and kind of talk through the thought processes. So in this first hand, we look down at King Jack 4-6, and it is a $20 bomb pot, nine ways to a flop, $180 in the middle. Flop comes King Jack 9 Rainbow, which is a really good board for our hand. So we bet $80 into eight opponents, and we get one caller. So now there's $340 in the middle, and the turn comes the Queen of Hearts, which introduces a flush draw plus. Now any pair plus 10 is a straight. Uh, which is a little bit different than regular Hold'em. It takes more than just a 10 to have a straight here because you have to play both cards in your hand. Uh, however, there are tons of straight hands now that would call the flop, so we just check back on the turn. Uh, our opponent is out of position to us, and we go to the river, which is the Eight of Spades, uh, which now introduces one more combination for a straight draw, which is 10-7. Um, however, it goes check-check, and we win a $340 pot right off the bat. So after losing a few pots, we go to this next interesting hand where our starting stack is 565. We look down at Jack Jack 57 double suited, all red. Uh, so hearts and diamonds, we raise to $25, which caps it. We go five ways to a flop, uh, which is pretty good for us. Comes ace, jack, eight with two clubs. So we flopped middle set. Uh, so we bet $120 into the four opponents. We get one caller. Uh, which is the loose aggressive player that we will be battling with all night, Billy. Uh, and the turn comes the four of hearts. Uh, we bet $300 and uh, we get a call. The river comes the king of diamonds and the opponent puts me all in for $120 more. Obviously, I'm not folding middle set. We only lose to queen 10 and bigger sets, uh, which if he has that, so be it. Uh, we call and Billy tables the rivered straight with no clubs. He just had a naked straight draw and got there. So we are felted and looking to rebuy for 500 more dollars. And honestly, thank God we rebought. In this next interesting hand, uh, we look down at ace nine five queen with the ace nine of hearts and the aggressive player Billy. Uh, he raises to $30 um, pre-flop and it goes four ways to the flop, which comes ace deuce three with two hearts. Uh, great flop for us. We got top pair and the nut flush draw. And we check it to Billy, who bets $60. Uh, and it is called in one other spot besides us. So we are three ways to the turn, which is the five of hearts. Uh, so now we have uh, two pair, the toppest two pair, and the nut flush, which is phenomenal. Uh, checks through. I was expecting Billy to bet, and we were going to raise, but that's really a mistake in this 
format of a game, we should just really be betting our hands. Uh, and the river is the eight of spades, therefore we still have the absolute nuts. I bet $120, and the uh, aggressive player Billy calls us, so we win a full $540 pot. That is the beginning of our spin-up, and here we go. Okay, so in this next interesting hand, you can basically completely ignore the video. I just thought you guys would be tired of staring at the same snapshot. I told you at the very beginning I had bad footage, and uh, this is the proof of it. This is another hand entirely where I lost a bunch of money uh, with a queen high flush. Uh, so ignore the video, uh, but how the hand that we're going to talk about right now actually went uh, was that we were uh, looking down at a pretty bad hand in the small blind with deuce, deuce, five, four, with two, five of hearts. Um, and it was $15 pre-flop, so we just called, uh, it's $3, $5 blind, so we put another 10 bucks in there. Went to the flop, which comes ace, queen, 10 with two hearts, which, if you're a Texas Hold'em player, may sound like a flush draw. Nope, not in this game. Deuce five of hearts with two hearts out there, you just have blockers. Uh, so, uh, I bet $40 as a bluff, and I get called, uh, in, uh, one spot, and this is by Kevin McPhee, who is the European Poker Tour Champion of 2000 and something. I'll put the year in the video right here. And uh, the turn comes the Jack of Hearts. So we make our flush, but it's a five high flush, so we're really not proud of it. Uh, and it goes check, check. River comes the Two of Diamonds. I bet $60. Uh, and as a small value bet slash blocker vet, um, I don't really want to call. I don't want to raise. Um, I'm okay with a call, I suppose. Uh, so therefore, I am very sad to hear when Kevin pots it to $290. I tank for a while. Uh, he's a capable player, but ultimately ended up laying down my deuce five of hearts, which was my five high flush. And Kevin tables the royal flush. Uh, so he makes his royal flush on the turn, uh, checks it, and makes the maximum from me, most likely. I don't know if I would have called a bet had I checked over to him. Uh, however, uh, that was interesting. Bet you thought I was going to win that hand because you thought that was the beginning of my spin-up. But no, we ended up losing a bunch of money uh, to a Royal Flush and Kevin McPhee. Uh, however, no jokes. Uh, this next hand we do win. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about it in just a second. Okay, so we are back to our snapshot of our buy-in, unfortunately, because I'm pretty trash at taking footage. Uh, so we look down at an interesting hand, 8-8-9 eight, eight, deuce with three spades in the small blind. Uh, it is $40 pre-flop, six ways. So there's $240 in the flop, uh, onto the flop, which comes uh, pretty interesting, 5-6-8 all hearts. Uh, so I check my top set. Uh, it checks around to the button who bets $240. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. I have a short stack of 420. And uh, so I just go ahead and shove the rest of my stack in for 380. We get two collars. So we're three ways to a turn, which comes a pink eight of clubs. So now we have quads. We only lose to a straight flush. Um, and the river comes the seven of spades, uh, which we table our quads and we are good to win a $1,380 pot uh, and so begins the spin up. Shape <laughs> plus <laughs> So we are back to our random snapshot of chips and my hands as we talk about this hand. Okay, so in this next hand, I um, don't really have the winning hands that I had to build up the stack that I have. It's a roughly $2,200 stack. Um, and I cover the other two important players here, um, which are Billy and Kevin McPhee. Uh, so I hope you have your dinner plate. I hope you have your sides. Uh, I hope you have your fork and knife ready because this is the steak. This is the main entree of the video. Uh, and here we go. So we look down at ace, king, seven, eight, all hearts. I'm on the button. Not bad. I'm thinking to myself, well, I can flop a royal flush. Um, I can flop a straight flush with seven, eight of hearts. All good things. Um, so I actually call a the single raise from somewhere in the pack uh, up to $20 uh, or something along those lines because uh, Billy, who pots pre-flop all the time, he pots it pre-flop to go to $70 and we get 
uh, five ways to the flop. So it's three hundred and fifty dollars in the middle. I have Ace King Seven Eight all hearts, and the flop comes Ace Ace Seven with two clubs. Now check down at my hand in the bottom left hand corner, and you'll see that I have a seven, uh, which means that there is not a hand that can beat us. We block quad eights, or sorry, quad aces, so we cannot be against quad aces, and uh, there is nothing that can beat us. So. It is very surprising to me when Billy, the aggressive loose player, uh, who raises to $300, bets out, leads out for $300, and then Kevin McPhee raises to $600. I am absolutely flabbergasted. I don't know what else to do. Um, I actually almost, in this moment, folded. And the reason I almost folded is because I didn't remember that I had a seven. In my head, all I had was ace king, and in this situation, ace king in my head is almost never good. I'm always up against a seven or uh, pocket kings. Luckily, I looked back down at my hand and I do indeed have a seven. I have the absolute nuts. Cannot be beat by any hand. So what do I do? I raise, of course. I make it 900. That's the max I can do. And then Billy, surprisingly, raises to 1200. And then Kevin, even more surprisingly, calls the additional 600. And so what do I do other than call the last 300? Because in Washington State, I can't five bet, unfortunately. I cannot raise again. It is capped now at $1,200. So we are three ways to the flop with $3,950 in the middle. And the turn comes the jack of hearts. Now I got downgraded to the second nuts. I am losing to ace jack. So it's a little nerve wracking when uh, Billy leads out for 300 Kevin raises to 600. I have nothing else to do but to put them both all in for roughly $900. They are both somewhere between 750 and 850 left in their stack. Uh, and everybody's all in. Uh, as the river comes, the deuce of clubs, which is a very relieving card to see because I only lose to ace jack. So Kevin tables 7-7 seven, seven for a flopped full house. So boat over boat. And then Billy never tables his hand and says that he had ace king. So I scoop the entire pot for about $6,100, uh, and that is the biggest pot of my life, the biggest pot of the night, and one of the biggest pots that any of the dealers or players have seen at that casino. So very interesting hand, uh, and it is just a cooler situation where we end up scooping for tons of money. Um, yeah, I'm not getting any faces. And hashtag blessed. Yeah. So in this next hand, um, my phone died, and I'm also still terrible at taking footage at this point. Uh, we have a starting stack of around 8,500. Uh, I don't have any of the footage or hands to how we got here, but we did. Um, and so we look down at uh, 10, 10, 6, 7, double suited in the small blind. Um, and it is capped pre-flop for $35. So we go five ways to the flop, uh, which is uh, pretty solid for us. 10-9 um, deuce with two diamonds. So we flop the absolute nuts, and we bet $80 uh, into the pot. And Carl, which is one of the dealers, uh, he raises the $280. Um, now, that's interesting. And what's more interesting is Kevin makes it $580. And Henry, who is... Um, someone else that is at the table, he goes all in for a right around 850. So because this raise was over half the amount required to raise Kevin's bet, that actually reopened the action and I had one more raise to 1150. Um, then Carl goes all in for a little bit less and Kevin calls. Now, uh, I'm basically just going off to the term praying to not ever see a diamond or any straight completing, uh, cards. So, uh, my worst nightmare comes true when the turn is the three of diamonds. Uh, so Kevin bets $300 at this point, and it would be ridiculous for me to fold because uh, we could, uh, you know, hit, catch a 10 or a board pair that doesn't make quads for anyone else on the river. Um, which, honestly, uh, I guess I had helped enough old ladies cross the street that week because the river comes a miracle deuce of clubs, so we have top boat. Uh, and we bet $300, and Kevin actually folds because he knows he's no good. Uh, so what we see we were up against was the nut flush draw uh, from uh, Henry in the one seat, and then uh, Carl actually had the uh, set of nines. So we had flopped set over set, 
and then rivered boat over boat, and we actually scooped the entire pot um, worth a little bit over $4,000. So all in all, an incredibly good night. And we actually ended up running our stack up to $14,000. And then at the very end of the night, we lost a couple of uh, really important pots and uh, ended up cashing out for $12,143. Uh, and that's what this looks like uh, in racks, the $12,143. Uh, and it was an incredible first session. Well, uh, so that was my first ever vlog session. Um, unfortunately, because I'll just never be able to beat that, I don't think. Um, so hopefully that ends up not being true, but, uh, it's the sun run of the century. Um, and we'll do it again next week, ideally. Uh, I will tell you guys that the next Monday I did have a winning session, which is great. Um, it was once again in the top five for the poker room. Um, so the run good continued, uh, last week. Uh, slash next week, I guess, because it was the week after the session I just talked about, but a week before the session I'm about to play tomorrow. So, uh, anyways, stay tuned for this starting PLO series. Uh, I'm going to do my best to continue to try to talk about the thought processes and everything uh, for each hand and how it kind of differs from Hold'em. Uh, there's not really anybody else that talks about PLO, and this is possibly the weirdest uh, PLO format in the country because Washington state laws mean that you can't five bet uh, and there's a $300 spread limit on any bet, even though this is probably the biggest game in the state uh, that plays in the casinos. So uh, I would love to hear your feedback on the first video. Um, so please comment down below, like and subscribe, all those normal things for YouTube videos. Uh, I would like to get a channel going uh, and show you guys some of the Texas Hold'em things as well, if that's what you want. And... Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching this far if you did, and I'll put out another video next week, and I can continue to learn how to get better at editing and everything like that. Thanks, guys.